should control where companies can drill for oil and gas in Colorado? New rules debated in Denver today would give local governments final say. The now's Kyle Horan explains this is another energy issue that has people split. This all stems from an executive order from Governor Hickenlooper in 2014. He ordered a task force to take a look at oil and gas law in our state. They decided that local government needs more power. Not everyone agrees. It's day two of the rulemaking process for the governor's task force. And there are plenty of opinions. And in order to um, really stay true to the integrity of, of the task force, we think they need to be modified. Dan Haley is the president of Colorado Oil and Gas Association. He represents oil and gas companies. His main goal? But that we can continue to develop natural resources in Colorado and continue to do this um, on behalf of our members and, and do the things that we think are, are good for our state and good for our economy. Two rules are on the table. Both involve the permit planning and locations of oil and gas development. However, there are some who think those drilling processes are getting too close to home. Some people might not be bothered by, by 20 wells right outside your window, but I mean, I know for a fact if we would have known this was going to happen, we wouldn't have bought a house here. Like Chris and Rebecca Odie. But one of our biggest concerns is the impact of the air and the water. They're opposed to most growth near their rural neighborhood, but especially this, a well site with a half mile radius and stacks more than 30 feet high. It's only 1,200 feet from their neighborhood. They just hope the growth slows down. Activist groups who are fighting fracking and oil and gas drilling have protested the hearings, even walking out of one in Greeley. They believe the task force favors the oil and gas industry and isn't listening to communities. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kyle Horan for The Now.